Hi, this is Ginger with my sister Scrapper. Today I want to share a cute little project that I created using Graphic 45's fabulous farmhouse collection. I also used one of their new ATC Black mini albums, the little small size. These are so cute. Oh, they're just adorable. They measure four by five. Super cute. So I used um, the eight by eight papers and I did use a sheet of the one sheet of 12 by 12 that had the black and white checked on the back side. I used um, some chipboard elements and the three, some of the three by four journal cards. I used one of their metal corners right here. I layered up the um, journal card here. I did trim it down so it would fit a little bit better on the front cover. This is the cut apart that I put on some dimensional foam tape. I added a chipboard element here and then in the little holes I used some of the Graphic 45 black matte pearl gems. And then I have a little punch die cut leaf right here. This is the spine. Um, you know, I'm not a big fan of that, that little label thing, but oh well. So I took a piece of black corrugated board and cardboard and or cardstock and put that on top after I pulled it off. It was a booger to get off. Sometimes they come off good, sometimes not so much, but um, I've actually, if you're going to wrap your corrugated stuff, you can actually wrap it right over the top of it. You don't have to fight with it, but I had already popped it up because I was going to do something else and then I decided to do this. Sorry. And then I added a um, piece of chipboard here and a large matte pearl gem. And there is the back. So for this project, again, I used the farmhouse. I also used their little black book. And then I also used one of their new dies. It's the tag pocket and butterfly dies. I didn't use the butterflies, but I did use the tag and the pocket which looks like this. And they all come in the same package. So when you purchase them, you get all of these dies in one. Super adorable. Love these. So this is the tag and then this is the pocket. And it's got the little score lines on here and you fold it over and it makes a little tag, a little pocket for your little tag to go in. But I'm gonna show you how I use this in a different way. So when you open it up, this is the first place I used it. I have inside here, I have a little fussy cut element right here. Put it on some chipboard. I did use a couple of pieces of patterns and solids, but they're not from this collection. The red was actually from Little Women, and the gold was actually from Imagine. Because it, it matched. And I didn't want to open up a new pack of patterns and solids that matched up. That was the actually the farmhouse. So I used some that I already had. So I took this die right here, and that right here, and I used it as my flap for my waterfall, and then I use this one to mat. They layer really, really well. I know, right? Who knew? So then I have a magnet closure here. This opens up like this, and then I have a little hidden waterfall. And I added some little of the border strips. I got the little roosters, and then the little cows, and the little pigs right there. So that goes like that, and it closes. So I did add some interactive elements on the inside of the book, just to, so it would, as you can see, it. I got just enough room to add photos and it should be good. So over here I used a three by four cut apart and then I made a pull out, which is quite large. <laughs> so you can add one, two, three photos here. You can even put a photo here if you wanted. Some more of the three by four journal cards. And then on the back, get in frame here. <laughs> on the back I used the plaid with the ivory right here as well. So that just folds up like that. That's the first page. There's four signatures in here which have um, six pages in each of the four. So you get a lot of bang for your buck. So then that's the first page. And then you do get to have the little black tags. And I haven't decorated these yet, but I'm worried I'm getting a little thick here. So, <laughs> so you do get four little tags. So again, just some more design paper. And then I did add tags to the side pockets as well. And again, I use these same two dies to make my little inserts. And this is where I use the 12 by 12 paper that's black and white checked. So I put ivory on the back and I use the checked for the front. And to do this, I just used for the design paper, I cut it out with this. And for the black piece behind it, I used this and just trimmed off the little wings and then shortened it however I needed it to be. And even though you're going to have the little tick marks there, you're going to cover both sides. Nobody can see it. So I thought those turned out pretty cute and they fit perfectly in here. <laughs> 
So again, there's another pocket back here. Again, another place for a photo. And then right here, I was gonna use the policy envelope die, but I was getting too thick, so I had to just put photo mats right here. So on the front of this page, I have a little accordion pocket, and we have some inserts right here. Two more of the cut aparts, or the uh, journal parts. And then you flip it over. Again, some more design paper. I might just go back and make these solids or pick one color or two colors. I'm not sure yet. Again, over here, I use another border strip to use this piece of paper with a cute sheep on it. Again, I have a pocket here. This little piece is from the patterns and solids that belong to Farmhouse. Place for a photo. Over here, I have another little magnet closure. Little fold out right there so you could put a picture here and journal here. And then again, another cute little um, border strip right here. And another border strip here, another tag. Super simple, but this paper is so cute and this is such a tiny little album. It's just darling. And then you flip it over, again, another border strip, again, another pocket, place for a photo here and a photo here. And then over here, I made another three by four card here with a magnet closure right here. And this folds up, so I have the milk cans and the cows and the milk cans and then a place for a photo here and a little border strip that says rise and shine super cute and you flip it over love this is probably one of my favorite prints is this one with the chickens on it and i like both sides <laughs> again another border strip here some more design paper and the last little side insert now, this would be really cute you could punch little holes in here and you could dangle little charms on the outside of that off of those that'd be super cute and again, another border strip here, another pocket, a cute little design paper here with a cute little pig right there, and another place for a photo. And then on the back inside cover, I did um, something similar, but instead of a waterfall, I made a dimensional pocket. So I have like a quarter of an inch gap here, and then magnet closure, so my magnet's here, and then I have an accordion pocket right here. And inside the accordion pocket, I added some more three by four, well these are three and a quarter by four and a quarter photo mats with some of the cute paper. And there's a journal card. So those all go back in there. Closes like that and like that. So again, I'm gonna show you really quick. All I did for the um, inserts right here is I took the die, oops, this one, for the base which is black, but I'm gonna use craft on, on film. It, work, it just shows up better. And I die cut it, normally the full size, right here. So I cut it out full size. I took my scissors and where the score lines are, I just trimmed these two tabs off and that left me with a long piece that didn't have tabs on it. So cut those off and you'll have this. So then I die cut the layering piece or the actual tag with the design paper and then I put it on here and layered it and I glued it down and then I just put it in my trimmer and I trimmed it off and then I rounded the corner to match so it looks like that super easy so yeah I mean it's super cute as a pocket and a tag but it's you I just love this decorative edge here so I thought that was pretty cute. So then you just glue them down like so. Now granted, this is your score line, but as long as you don't fold on it, you're good because you're going to cover this side. And then I did cover the back side, so I did do two. So I could put one on one side to cover up the score line and then one on the other. And that's how I did the inserts. And then for the flaps here, again, I did the same thing. I cut one out of, for the base piece, I used this trimmed off the, um, I would use my paper trimmer, but I trimmed right along the score lines right here. And then I decided how long I wanted it to be. I put it in my scoreboard and I scored it at a half an inch on that edge. So then I took the actual tag and cut it out of design paper and then I put it, I glued it down first, and then depending on how much 
of the because I, I used two different obviously it's not big enough here so in order to get one full piece you're going to need to piece it so I used this piece first glued it down and then I decided how much of this other color I wanted to show and then I just measured it so I needed a piece that's like three and a quarter by three and three eighths so I glued this one down first rounded the corners for the on the one side and then just made it like this because these corners aren't going to show so then you just glue it down that's how I did that. Super cute, super easy, but it's another way that you can use your fun little dies. And these dies are amazing. I love them. So there you go, everybody. That's my quick little project share using Graphic 45's yummy, yummy, yummy farmhouse collection. So there you have And they're black ATC little mini album. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.